Yo, what's good guys? It's Austin here, or Luna. So today's story time is about an ex-girlfriend of mine. Not specifically the ex-girlfriend herself, but about her father. Now for the most part, when I date somebody, their parents usually like me. They don't usually hate me. But every once in a while, every once in a blue moon, sometimes a friend or a girlfriend's dad or mom will not like me very much. I'm not entirely sure why, but today's story time is about one of those times. Probably one of the most memorable ones I have and crazy. So I hope you guys enjoy this story time. Leave a like on the video if you do enjoy it. And yeah, let's jump right into today's story time. So today's story time takes place in 2017. I've been dating this girl for a while. She's been in a bunch of other story times, but I had been dating her for such a long time and I had never even met her parents. She was one of the only girls that I had dated for a while and never met her parents. Like usually after a couple months, I would always meet their parents, but this time it had gone on longer than that and I'd never met them. So me and her had decided that it's probably time that I meet her parents because if I don't get it out of the way now, It'd be really, really awkward if I waited any longer. So yeah, she set up a dinner for me, her, and her two parents to go to dinner together at a nice restaurant. And I can't lie, I was actually really excited because she was a really chill girl. So in my head, I was thinking like, okay, she's really chill. That means her parents are probably really chill. Like, I'm sure I'll get along with them. Boy, oh boy, was I wrong about that, okay? So fast forward to the night of the dinner. I get ready. I dress up in the fanciest clothing that I can. You know, I definitely didn't look like myself. I usually dress in like t-shirts and jeans, but this time is a little bit different. So yeah, I get ready. I get dressed up. My girl comes and picks me up, and we drive to this restaurant together to meet her parents there. So we get there. We walk into the restaurant. We walk up to the table, and I see her parents, and I immediately know, based on the look her dad is giving me, that this guy does not like me whatsoever. So her mom had the biggest smile on her face. She gives me a huge hug, like really just open arms, welcomes me to this dinner. And then her dad just sits at the table with the most angry look on his face, giving me this like angry look of death with his arms crossed, just sitting there like staring at me. And I go to shake his hand and he like hesitates for like two seconds before shaking my hand. Like he gives me a really dirty look when I go to shake his hand and he like hesitates and then finally puts his hand out and shakes my hand. And I'm like, hey, nice to meet you. I'm Austin. And he just looks at me, nods his head, and sits back down. Doesn't say like, hey, nice to meet you too, this is my name. Nope, just nods his head, sits back down. So at this point, I know how it's about to go down. Like, her mom's really nice and her dad's really mean. So we sit down at the table, we start talking to each other, and the entire time, pretty much, like from the start of the dinner to the end of the dinner, this dude asked me so many questions about myself, like interrogating me. And it wasn't like normal questions like, oh, do you go to college? What do you do for a living? It was straight up like interrogating questions where he's like, what have you been doing with my daughter all this time? What do you guys do when you go on dates? Where do you take her? Like he was just asking these questions like I was some bad guy with like really bad intentions. But I answered all of them honestly and tried my best to reassure him that I wasn't some dickhead. And uh, it seemed like it was working for the most part. But the entire time, all through dinner, I had one worry in my head. And that was going to be... I hope he doesn't ask what I do for a living because every time I have to explain to somebody that I'm, you know, a YouTuber, it's a little bit difficult because they don't understand it. And this guy didn't seem like the most understanding person. So I feel like if I tried to tell him I talk to a microphone in front of millions of people every day, he probably wouldn't believe it. So I was really hoping that that wouldn't come up. And luckily it didn't. The whole dinner went by without him asking what I do, which was actually kind of surprising, but a huge relief. So anyway, fast forward to the end of dinner, it ends, it was really awkward, me and my girlfriend leave, we get in her car, she apologizes for how, you know, interrogating her father was being, but I was fine with it, I understood why, and then me and her leave, and we go and hang out for the rest of the night, and I thought that was the end of it, right, like I met her parents, I thought it couldn't get any worse after that, but I was so wrong, okay, so fast forward to the next morning, I wake up to a text from my girlfriend saying, hey, my parents want to get lunch with us today, are you okay with that? And I was like, yeah, for sure. And she goes, all right, cool. I'll come pick you up in a little bit. I'm like, all right, sounds good. So she comes and picks me up and we start driving to this restaurant where we're going to get lunch at. And she's like, hey, just so you know, like my dad's probably going to be asking you a bunch of questions again. I was like, why is that? And she was like, well, last night after I dropped you off home, I went back to my house and he asked me what you do for a living. And I told him that you were a YouTuber and he was very, very confused. and He wants to ask you more about it. And I was like, oh, you didn't show him my channel, did you? And she was like, was I not supposed to? Now look, I'm not ashamed to show people my channel, but like my girlfriend's dad seeing all those story times, you know, it might bring up some issues, and of course it did. So when me and her get to lunch, we sit down at the table, and the first thing this dude asks me is, Hey Austin, can I talk to you outside by ourselves for a bit? And I was like, um, okay. So we get up, and we're walking away from the table. I was so confused, so was everybody else at the table. So we walk outside of this restaurant, 
And he looks me in my eyes and he goes, so Austin, last night my daughter showed me your YouTube channel and what you do for a living. And he puts quotation marks around living, like with his fingers in the air. And I was like, yeah, what about it? He goes, I can't have you dating my daughter Will you do stuff like that on the internet. And I was like, what do you mean? Like, what? He's like, all of those stories that are about her and about other people, you can't be doing that. I was like, well, it's not illegal or anything. It's just YouTube videos. And he was like, yeah, but some of those story times involve my daughter. I don't like that. And I was like, well, I ask her every time before I make one if it's okay. And she said that it was fine. He's like, I don't care. It's not fine with me. You can't be doing that. And I was like, sir, with all due respect, like she's an adult. And if she says it's okay, I'm not going to assume there's an issue. And he was like, yeah, well, I'm an adult too. And this adult just happens to be your girlfriend's father. So guess what? You either stop doing those YouTube videos or you don't date my daughter. And I was like, what? What are you talking about? He's like, I'm telling you right now, no boyfriend of my daughter will have a YouTube channel like that. So you either delete it and continue dating her or you don't delete it and you break up. And I was like, how does that make any sense whatsoever? If I delete my channel, first of all, I'll go broke because it's my main source of income. Second of all, it's my hobby and I like doing it. And third of all, your daughter is completely fine with it. So I'm sorry if this sounds disrespectful, but no, I'm not deleting my channel for you because you're angry over it. Like, just no. Sorry, but no. And he gets all red in the face, all pissed off looking. And he's like, listen to me and listen to me clearly. You either do it or you don't. So make your choice right now. YouTube or dating my daughter. And I'm like, I'm going to have to go with option three. And he goes, what's option three? There is no option three. I'm like, option number three, none of the above. And I'm ending this conversation. Have a good day. And I turn around and I leave. I just straight up left the lunch. I walked back home. I was so over that. So I get back to my house and I sit down on the couch and I have three text messages from my girlfriend. And she was like, hey, like, I'm so sorry about my dad. Like, he told me what he said to you. I am not okay with that whatsoever. My mom's not okay with that whatsoever. My mom really likes you. Like, that was not cool with either of us. Just so you know, like, you can still date me if you keep your YouTube channel. What he said was completely ridiculous and just out of line. Like, don't listen to him whatsoever. And I was like, thank you so much. Like, that's so reassuring because honestly, I didn't know what would happen if I said no to him. So yeah, in the end, everything was all good. We got to keep dating. He couldn't really interfere with the relationship, but he was definitely trying to. Every opportunity he could to like throw a little jab at me and insult me or threaten me, like he definitely took the chance. So yeah, that's pretty much the end of the story time of one of the craziest dads I've ever met. I've never had someone threaten to make me stop dating their daughter because I did YouTube. But yeah, I thought this story time was pretty interesting. If you guys like this story time and found it interesting as well, please leave a like on the video. I would really appreciate it. Feel free to leave your story times in the comments down below and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you all later. Peace.